Hello crew, happy Friday. This is Michelle here from Water Girl Quilt Co. And it is time to open our little package for December 15th. Now, the word today for your bingo card is zipper. Do you like installing zippers in bags? I actually love it because it's become really easy for me to do because I've learned some great tips and tricks from people like by Annie who is an expert at putting zippers in bags. So the word today is zipper and let's see what's in package number 15 because you know it might have to do with a zipper. And it is a package of by Annie basting tape. So you get two rolls. When it's open, they look like this. I've used a lot of this one. It's like really going down. See that? I use this a lot and not just for putting in zippers. So this tape is a 1 8 thickness. It is a double sided tape and it makes it easy to place things such as zippers onto your fabric. It's also great for placing things like vinyl, mesh fabric, elastics, anything that you don't really want to put pins through or that is awkward to use with wonder clips. I find if you have um, something delicate and you put a wonder clip on it, it kind of goes all floppy and it's awkward to work with. So I love this tape. So how does it work? Well, you pull it off your roll. So you would pull off and you would start putting it on your fabric wherever you want to attach your item to. I'm going to take these off because I can see you better without them. So I've got one started right here where I took a piece of pretty Allison glass fabric and I've already stuck down a piece of tape because I would like to put the zipper onto this. Alrighty. So here's what I'm going to do. Because it's 1 8 thickness, it hides nicely in my seam allowance. I don't even sew through it, but I can with a Microtex um, sharp needle or a non-stick um, non needle. You will have no problems at all. If you do happen to sew through it, it won't be a big deal. Okay, so then you have to carefully lift, peel back your white tape. And actually, I should be using my Biani stiletto because I find that really helps to get it started. There we go. I got it. Okay, so now I have this super sticky, this really sticky tape. And this is where I would take my zipper. When I'm doing the Biani method, I am letting the zipper tape extend about one eighth of an inch past my fabric. It's part of her technique to create a binding effect and I will stick this all down. I would normally be doing this on my cutting mat so I'd be more accurate but I think you can see I left a little bit of an area there and now I would take this to my machine and I would stitch this down and when I come and peel it back there won't be any sign at all of my tape. And if I decided that, oops, I put this in the wrong spot before sewing, it is sticky, but with a tug, it does come apart. And it didn't even come off. I can still like reposition. Okay, so that is the buy any basting tape. Um, have fun finding ways to use it for places where you just don't want to put in pins or clips because it's too awkward and share some of your ideas that you come up with for using it on our WQC Advent 2023 private Facebook group. And I will see you back here tomorrow with more Advent fun. And remember that the word of the day is zipper. Happy holidays crew from Water Girl Quilt Co.